the shepherd flying over the sea. Would you stop for a moment and gaze up at me? The wind and her feather with curious weather. Away from the worries that bind like a tether. Public school from Bangalore is the only school from India participating online for Erasmus Plus. I am Professor Stock from Stocks in Science Zone. Birds spend most of their lives flying. Ever wondered how birds go to sleep? First, do they sleep at all? Well, yes they do sleep, but how they manage to do? It shows how amazing birds are. For a start, if a bird sleeps on the ground, they can be picked up by a cat. If a bird sleeps on the branch, predatory birds can attack them. Birds rest in water, they are easy picking through water based attackers. If they sleep while flying, well, previous researchers have speculated that birds snooze during long flights. But there has been no evidence. Scientists and researchers at the Max Planck University of Ornithology, Germany very recently has evidence that during snoots, birds engage in different types of sleep. Different kinds of sleep. Now, what is that? Tracking and recording the data of brain activities in flying frigates, researchers have revealed an astonishing facts about birds brain. The researchers attached a flight recorder to study the brain activities electrocephalograph on a flock of female frigates, long distance flyers, a GPS on the back to track location and altitude. We are flying with luggage, no more flying light. We also have a compass and we can't go even astray. When the frigates returned, the chips were removed for data collection, leading scientists and researchers on this project, mainly Dr. Neil Trachtenberg and Dr. Preston Warren's observations are. Gates revealed both expected and non-expected sleep patterns as per the flight recorded brain e wave chart EEG. During day, the bird stayed away and searching for food. The birds then carried the recorders during long, non-stop food-finding flights called foraging for several months. At sunset, the frigates soared higher and higher. The brain signals shifted to SWS, slow wave sleep. What is slow wave sleep? Deep sleep for several minutes. Slow wave sleep would occur in two brain states, unihemispheric. One side of the brain shut down with opposite eye open, bihemispheric. Both sides of the brain shut down with both eye closed. WIM sleep is when birds just catch few seconds while flying. The head drops on one side and the wings drooping in birds with less muscle control control on land we can see them standing on one leg REM sleep rapid eye movement 
in the darkness of the night. Such dangerous sleeping patterns in the middle of nowhere. With its extraordinary long wings and deeply forked tail, uh, the magnificent frigate is unmistakable when we see it in flight. Yes, people, this does not affect the bird's capacity to fly through layers of wind and air currents of the sky, just like an aeroplane, aerodynamic control. With one eye open and the opposite brain asleep, birds can sleep as well as watch for enemies. The eye which, turn, which faces the turns is awake. The frigate's feathers are not waterproof, so they cannot fly very low over the sea for food. The massive wingspan enables the magnificent frigates to shore effortlessly and make graceful aerial maneuvers. Which so captivated Charles Darwin, he dubbed this species as the condor of the ocean. The frigate sleep just 48 minutes in a day while flying with one side of their brain shut and corresponding eye open compared to much longer hours when they are asleep the same way on land. Apart from slow wave switching hemispheric sleep with open and closed eye. Both experts have the opinion that long distance birds are constantly alert on the ecological demands, especially overseas. Frigates and the other migratory birds, though, are sleep deprived. Their performance is skyrocketing. They're, they are the masters of the sky. Mystic, magical, yet methodical. We salute these enigmatic birds and continue to ponder into their realms of magical sleep. Happy to unlearn, learn, and know more and more to explore the sky and go in search of sleep. In the eyes of those determined birds beyond our reach, if not for our children, would we ever wish to know if birds ever did sleep or where did they ever go?